Do you want to turn a tired old door like this to a cool new board like this? Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. So I'm pretty sure you can tell by the intro that I created this really wicked cool cork board sticker sort of holder thing for the back of the door back there. So it'll be in the background. Um, sporting my, uh, let's see, my 3D printing nerd sticker that I got from Joel. Uh, the HandyBot sticker, which will not stick to save my life. Um, so we're gonna have to figure something out uh, there. Uh, we got uh, Buzz Designs, we have Air Pyro there, as well as the, uh, the Pink Mafia. We got my little Atari sticker there. Um, here, let's see, Eat Bertha's Muscles. If you haven't eaten Bertha's Muscles, you should eat Bertha's muscles, just saying. Uh, Earth, you can see that guy right there. I will do probably some sort of video tour of the board at some point. I have other stickers to put up there. I put as many as I could find while I was doing this, um, but not all of them. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick montage of me making this, probably with a voiceover. Um, you've seen the final product. So not a whole lot of utility in kind of, uh, you know, guessing what the outcome is going to be. But nevertheless, maybe I'll just do a close up of it and kind of walk you through some of the stickers and why they're important um, or not so important <laughs> as the case may be. So, all right, let's cut over to the montage. All right, so here I am doing some measurements, getting ready to cut the board on the table saw. A uh, a sled would have worked a lot better than cross-cutting this freehand, but uh, the dimensions weren't really, uh, it didn't need to be terribly too precise. So here I am cutting the boards for the frame. Uh, it's just a square frame using butt joints. I'll mention that again later. Uh, there's no magic here. Just cutting them to the length uh, based on the size of the board, which was uh, 46 inches tall by 24 inches wide. Remember kids, safety first. So here I'm laying the frame out on the, the board that we cut earlier. Um, it's just a simple butt joint system. I use some clamps to hold it down. Then I'll uh, flip it over, uh, screw it together. I'm actually gonna tap it. Uh, Pre-drill the screws uh, so that they can fit in and then also chamfer them as well uh, using a countersink bit. That was a picture of the screw and the, uh, the screw bit needed a much smaller uh, bit than normal you would normally use to drive a uh, like a drywall screw or something in because the screws are much much smaller they're only uh, number four screws so Just do some quick sanding here. Uh, take the edge off uh, of the, the Luan. It uh, can be quite splintery. And then just smooth out the, the top a little bit so we get ready to glue down the cork board. Uh, when I was sanding, I noticed that the middle of the board was very, very uh, kind of spongy. So I created a second tenant here. Just uh, cut it the length from a scrap of uh, maple that I had laying around and uh, okay, I'm going to clamp it down and screw it together. Another quick sanding there across the new screw heads that I just made. Using some air to blow off the dust, I'm gonna lay down the adhesive, use a Loctite uh, spray adhesive here. It's uh, I think number 77, I think. 
Um, or at least I intended to use the 3M77, but a, a big box score didn't have that, so I just used the Loctite here. Uh, spray the board first, get a really good coating on that and let that dry, and then I'll uh, flip it over, or uh, switch over to the cork. Here you can see right here, and then I'll spray it on the cork, and then uh, when you put the two together, it creates an instant bond. Um, uh, gotta get it lined up. <laughs> well the first time I got I got pretty close so there's there's no going back once you push them together you can see here spraying the cork uh, because the cork is so porous it actually took a lot of this spray to get it to do what I wanted it to do um, so I basically used the entire can <laughs> on just these two pieces uh, but I went back over the cork uh, a number of times to make sure it was fully uh, fully covered and could um, you know stick well to the board which we're going to switch over to here next Put the board down and let it dry for about 10 minutes and then just sandwich them together. Push it down with my hand and then put some uh, some weights on it you can see here. And I actually tape the, uh, the sides down as well with some blue painter's tape you can see right here. Cutting the excess cork off here. Uh, I thought that would be easier to use a utility knife. Turns out it kind of left a ragged edge, uh, didn't do a very good job cutting this off here, uh, so I actually decided to turn it over and sand the cork down uh, to get a better better surface for putting the stickers on, but also to kind of uh, chamfer those edges. Um, using the sander here, you can see I'm using a, I think it's 120, 120 grit, I think. Blow the excess dust off. Make sure you got a nice clean surface. Now I took it down into the basement here to do some finishing. I decided to put a sealing coat on it. You can see here the sanding sealer, Minwax sanding sealer. Um, I, I toyed with putting a layer of poly down. In hindsight, I should have put the poly down as well because the stickers uh, you will see later on in the video aren't actually sticking very well at all. Um, lesson learned there. So if you're gonna re reproduce this, go ahead and. Uh, you know, do the sealing here and then uh, put a couple coats of poly on it, get a nice smooth finish for the stickers to stick on. Uh, this is supposed to dry in about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, it's super humid uh, here right now and it did not dry in 30 minutes at all. So, taking uh, the poster down, measuring out where the hole is going to go. I'm just using kind of like a French cleat system here without the Without the cleat, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put some boards on the top and the bottom, make sure it's level, and then put the boards on the bottom here. And then just press fit the frame against the door. Now it didn't quite fit uh, when I first put it in, so I just used a little bit of blue painter's tape to, to snug it up, and then uh, had to turn the bottom cleats around because I actually put them in backwards. And then I started to put the stickers on. Okay, so there it is. That's the project. I hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you happen to have a sticker you want to send to me to stick on the board, stick on the board. There it is. Stick on the board. Let me know in the comments as well, and we'll uh, we'll get it put up. Uh, if you like the video, appreciate a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Any questions, comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell. Very important. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Thanks, everyone.